interesting strategies earlier. Yeah. You know, you know, Mega Man is so disruptive, so Quan just kind of gets to play the option coverage game. Yeah. So while Sonic Mega just kind of goes in with Leaf Shield and pellets, Quan just sits on the outside, waits for them to roll, waits for them to jump over, do something, and he just went there and with I the think, hitbox. Yeah, know? and I think we'll see something similar coming from uh, Kuchi Slayer and Eon because Eon's going to sure, yeah. go in with the, sure. you know, put it on that fox damage, and then uh, Cookie, uh, Cookie Slayer, of course, that young Link, uh, that young Link magic on the outside as well. So let's let's see how that dynamic. Yeah, I think we're holds. seeing uh, young Link and Fox from yeah. Eon yeah. and uh, the Slayer of Kuchi. <laughs> so um, they're going through their striking right now for those of you at home. It's uh, it's a new game. It's a new rule set, right? So seven stages, all of them starters. They're going to strike one, two, two, one. So each team's going to take turns saying what stages they don't want to go to. Yeah, something I haven't really seen anybody take advantage of is the winner of RPS actually can choose to go second. Right. Wh so, which, oh, you're, you which, are, I see you're a man of culture, and you know the uh, mathematically speaking, in a seven stage strike list, uh, the yeah, people yeah. that go second are probably going to have the advantage unless you, they do some You get weird that stuff. last band, man. You, <laughs> get that, you basically get to, ch I mean, everybody get bands three no matter what. Right. But you get the last band, and that means a lot. Yeah, but access of information, critiques aside, it's, uh, yeah. it's pretty solid. You know, rule set, people seem to be generally happy with it. And it looks like they're getting ready to get into game one. No no surprises right now from the red team. Uh, Eon and Cookie Slayer and Sonic, Mega, and Quan also no surprises yeah. on that side either. So there's so Quan starting out with the Lucina. This happened uh, in the set that we casted earlier in pools. Yeah. Um, it didn't work out, so he ended up going, uh, you know, Bowser Jr. But oh, interesting. I, I, I like the attempt to bring Lucina back. Lucina definitely a really strong character in doubles. Takes up so much space with her hitboxes. Right. They're definitely able to put up a wall, and especially in this game where you're trying to establish. You know, that front line while you have that support from Mega Man from behind. Yeah, Lucina it's all could about be, that stage control, baby. Right. It's all about that stage. And a little miscue right there. Some uh, up airs coming from Mega Man just kind of throwing Lucina out of the game. But right now, Red Team just doing everything they can. Kind of taking a little bit of a lead. Yeah, the, th the thing about Mega Man is his damage output's kind of low. So you really need to get those conversions off of, you know, the stray hits that Mega Man gets right. and whatnot. But fortunately, as you are seeing right there, uh, Mega Man does have a little bit of pop. So... When it comes time to get some kills, hopefully, you know, Sonic Mega is able to convert those. And Eon is putting Sonic Mega in the blender. Meanwhile, Quan losing his first stop yeah, as well. Yeah, definitely first blood for the red team. They're just putting out so much damage, controlling so much of the pacing of the matchup. Just kind of some miscues left and right. You see Sonic Mega losing his first stock as well. Uh, red team taking a lead. Yeah, I'm like I'm liking the the movement from, from Zan. I, I never know what to call him anymore. <laughs> but I'm, I'm liking, the Slayer of Cookies, the, sir, the Slayer, the slayer, of, the slayer of, cookies. of Cookies, dude. I'm like, I'm liking the, how many cookies are being slayed on the screen right now. That's really what's important to me. Yeah, and, you know, it's, it's it's always something that's uh, Cookie Slayer has been such a renowned doubles player, just able to flow in and out of the match, control space, support his teammate. You know, one of, the, I, I, in my opinion, one of the premier support teammates yeah, in and Smash. I, and I mean, look at him. He's just kind of sitting there keeping Sonic Mega off stage while Eon goes to town on Quan. Right, and they, they definitely have that, you know, one-on-one -on -one ISO NBA play right now. Yeah. Uh, oh, kind of a mess. Definitely the one-on-one -on -one <laughs> ISO. You definitely put them in the ISO, they're like, hey, their defense is whack. Let's just get this guy alone. Yeah, that's, Blue Team's just been kind of playing off stage the entire game, not really able to get much traction. And Zan just holding on to that stock. He's still on his first stock. Yeah, Zan, Young Link, not really a stock tank character, have you just seen? him lose that stock to the back throw, but Zan yeah. is just so survivable. And there's that uh, Nerda up smash closing out that stock, and blue team's a little bit on, on red alert here, their last stock's on game one. Definitely, yeah. And we're seeing Eon kind of just put somebody in the corner and keep him there. That, that's really what the game has been so far. Put him in the corner, keep him there, let Zan, you know, wall the other person out, and just rack that damage up. Right. Yeah, especially in this right mismatch. Right here. This right. Is what I, I want to see this. So. Eon's standing on the other side of the stage jabbing Sonic Mega. Quan's just like trying to like retake advantage over over Cookie Slayer, right? Right. And then once he gets that advantage, he tries to like keep Cookie Slayer in the corner. Yeah, definitely. Of help yeah, team. definitely just got that, you know, split the floor and keep the other, you know, not letting Blue Team develop any sort of synergy or, you know, um, any sort of cohesiveness to their options together. They're just kind of playing separate one on one battles. And what is this? <laughs> Get this out of here. It's the wall. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Sonic Mega's had enough of that. He's like, he called it good. That jab wall, <laughs> impenetrable. <laughs> but all the players having a nice Dude, laugh at young, that. <laughs> young Link is the best character at holding up space because of that jab. No. Yeah. <laughs> 
And, of course, uh, Eon and Cookie Slayer taking game one. Yeah. Let's see what adjustments, you know, uh, Quan and Sonic Mega are able to make. They spent, as we were saying, a lot of that match is kind of out of sync, out of sorts, separated from each other. Yeah. Let's see if they're able to stick together. Maybe Quan do a little more work, holding space with Lucina. I, I need I need to hear, you know, some homie some homie speak. I need to hear some, like, yo, help me. Like, yeah. I don't care what you're doing right now. Help me. Like, like doesn't it doesn't matter. Don't get mad at me. I'm going to yell at you. Just, like... I need your help right now. Yeah. Oh, and I think the stage pick was Pokemon. Or was it Kalos or Pokemon Stadium 2? Sorry. Well, we'll find out in a second. One of the Pokemon's uh, coming out. So, oh, we got that Pichu switch, coming out. Yeah. All right. So, the character switching. You know, sometimes when you have that momentum and you want to try some stuff out early bracket, it's worth the risk to just kind of, you know, try a character. And as far as. This is the best of five, man. They've got time. <laughs> oh, we're in best of fives now? I'm All right. Sure. But yeah, de but definitely, you know, as far as taking a risk goes, Pichu is not really a risk because oh, Pichu's been such a powerful, uh, it's been such a powerful character. Yeah. As far as the singles meta game has go, there's been a lot of doubles tournaments overall. You know, as far as even on the national level, it's mostly been singles. A lot of it attributed to right. how many players have been coming out for the new game. So it's definitely a breath of fresh air yeah, to get a lot of doubles action. There's a lot of new players here today. There's like a massive amount of people who. Like, and it's not just like, oh, they don't know the rule set, they're new. I don't know if you saw that right there. Pichu is doing damage to all four characters on the screen. One of the first for, uh, you know, uh, that's, <laughs> the yeah, first that's time I've seen that. <laughs> I've, never, I've never thought about that as a concept until you brought it up right now. Yeah. Well, it's only like, you know, something that you would see with like links and stuff like that blowing themselves up. But other than that, it's uh, it's nice to see a character just, you know, doing so much damage output, like and just putting away stocks. This Mega Man's got it. Yeah, he's gone. Just let him die. <laughs> just let him die. And red team out, you know, same story. They're out to an early lead, controlling all the space. Uh, actually, Aeon's just going off stage and doing work, and Zan just holding yeah, the stock. Just holding it down, and oh my, did you see that combo? And also a good pickup on Sonic Mega, too, so, you know. Aeon's, okay, I, you know what? I'm done with the degeneracy of this game. Right now. <laughs> <laughs> this, this next. Move don't, on. Uh, don't call it degenerate. Yeah, there's going to be counterplay. Just get, we'll give it some time. Let's, let's hope so. Honey. But, you know. Oh! He jumped. <laughs> Why did he jump? And right now, just red team, a firm, a firm lead. Kasonic Mega is in trouble on his second stock. Quan's already on his last stock. And oh my they're goodness. early. Oh, my god. Just Pichu is so good. <laughs> Pichu Dude. is so good. Yeah. Oh, OK, Sonic Mega. Making some plays. Him, Sonic Mega. Yeah, he's got to get some. He's making some plays, trying to put in some work. If they're going to make a comeback here, they got to start now. It's Almost to the point oh of my goodness. a little too late. Red team, such good synergy, and so terrified of just the young Link jumping in between them, holding their shields. And a really good thing about both these characters is that Young Link and Pichu both have like these really lasting hitboxes on their aerials, so it's way easier to time when to be there with the next right than it would be otherwise. Like Lucina has very quick, very fast, uh, you know, quick knockback moves. So a lot of the time you don't have that time to follow up. Right. You have to be there for you. You kind of have to. Uh, you have to like predict the the mind of your exactly. teammate more yeah. so than oh. reacting to it. Oh man, beat you off stage. Yeah. Beat you off stage combo. Kinda yeah, good. Kinda Quan, good. <laughs> Quan just had nowhere to go, and this looks like uh, nothing doing here for the uh, blue team. A valiant effort, but it looks yeah. like red team's on on the brink of closing we're, this we're one gonna, out. This is. Come on. What is this? What? Oh, he tricked him. He got that mic in with that charge forward smash. Or, yeah, the charge forward smash. A change from the last game. You can charge smashes forever. Sonic Mega putting work in. Uh, you hear Cookie Slayer yelling, oh my god, they're getting, starting to sweat a little bit. Sonic, if he makes Sonic, the comeback. Sonic Mega about to die, probably. But, you know, <laughs> he's, he's making a fight. You know, these guys are kind of climbing around a little bit. So. I think and there's a trade. I think that was just an <laughs> He narrowed him to death. And Mega yeah. Man, not the lightest of characters, too. But, of course, Sonic Mega had such a high percent. So they close out that sock. Red yeah. Team, very solid victory. Look for them to make some damage later on in yeah, the bracket, Yeah, they're moving too. to the top five. Moving in the top five, uh, but uh, you know, our friends here, Quan and Sonic Mega, they are one set win away from top eight. So we'll see if they can put themselves to work in the losers bracket. Yeah, we'll definitely see more of them. They're solid players. They'll, yeah. they'll figure it out. Uh, just I hope that they take a little time, talk to each other. You know, it's one thing when you're early bracket and you're rolling and you're beating everybody. It's another thing once you uh, right. once you get punched in the face once and it's like, all right, what do we? Where do we go from here? How do we adapt? So, I, I'm sure they'll make some good adaptations. I think we've got some time in between matches. Uh, I just want to talk for a second about this venue. We're here at the Holiday Inn in La Mierda. <laughs> I, I, I'm terrible at Spanish. La Mirada for us uh, Kansas La, people. La Mirada. Are you from Kansas? <laughs> I'm from New York. So I, oh, I, there you I, go. I'm, I'm out of place, too. Uh, La Mirada. Uh, 
the holiday in this venue space is beautiful. It's yeah. so big. The chairs are like the most comfortable tournament chairs I've ever sat in. Yeah. They're, they're not like your plastic, like picked them up at Walmart chairs. They're, <laughs> they're nice. They have leather seats. Ooh. It's good. Uh, you yeah. wish you were here. I know you do. Yeah, definitely. If you're able to, you know, speaking of wish you were here, you will have the chance to be here. I mean, we got other events coming up. SoCal's known for so That's many true. events all the time. Weekly is where you will get that Walmart sitting chair, but it's all right. You can, uh, hey. you know, learn where we all came from. But when we get to the, hey, you know. All, you got to know your roots. <laughs> we're a little bougie important. now here at the, you know, the big, I guess, monthly, the big major for for 2GG. It's, exactly. You know, and chance putting in work, like going around, finding venues, and stuff like that. Yeah. I've seen Champ find more venues than any other scene switch venues. For sure. Life. Yeah, no, it's uh, he's always got he's, he's the visionary, right? He's always got some master plan yeah. cooking uh, cooking behind the scenes. So he got a lot and, of. And, and my favorite thing about him is that he's so hands on. Like he's always <laughs> on the ground working. Yeah. Right? So, but yeah, shout out to TG Gaming. Put on great events. Uh, if you're looking to do more of them. Uh, we got Heart of Heart, uh, Heart of Battle, Heart of Battle. In, yeah, that's in February. Uh, February. Uh, early February, first weekend of uh, yeah. February. So check out that. That's the uh, the major. But of course, if you want to get some practice in prior to going to a major, which I would always recommend, uh, 2GG. They got their Monday their Monday tournament, kind of the flagship one. With as far as attendance has been going, yeah. Uh, Mega Smash Monday. Then on they that, have. And on that note, you know, the SoCal Smash League. If yeah. You're trying to you know grind and see actual progress of your placements. So right. Smash Master League is where it's at. You know, you can enter, any event can qualify, you just have to hit up Champ and be like, yo, I yeah, got this he'll, event, I'm running He'll point you in the right direction. Yeah, and <laughs> he'll get you all, all worked out with it. And then your guys will start earning points, and then who knows, maybe they'll show up yeah. at uh, the finals for that as well. Yeah. Uh, today is the first day of the SoCal Smash League. Right, today is the first day of the uh, the official PR too, oh, so yeah. we're going to start oh, yeah. getting some rankings in and see. So that when people start complaining about their seating, there's actually some... Uh